My name is Claire Canodal. I'm a life science instructor here at Black River Falls High School. So um, I had read about a different school in Wisconsin that actually did this. I talked to Mr. Markhart. We talked to the uh, maintenance and they said, sure, we can do that. We knew we needed to do something with the food waste because that's a huge weight out of your garbage. So first of all, in order to do this, we had to make sure that we had a farmer or someone who actually had animals that could take this milk and vegetables. So we first organized the logistics of it. We got maintenance involved with physically how were we going to have the students recycle it you know, when they're dumping their trays. How are we going to make sure that they're not putting any meat in those vegetables? On the farm, they feed it to the animals, typically pigs. So we're finding students are actually wasting food on purpose to feed the pigs. So they're taking extra helpings of the vegetables and the fruits just to feed the pigs. Then we have uh, a group of students who refuse to feed the pigs because they're going to they're being slaughtered, and they have a, you know, that, they have a value to their, to their argument. This whole project actually got started because one of our biggest things in the whole school district are milk cartons. The massive quantities of milk cartons, if you can imagine, you know, there's 400 kids here, there's 200, 300 more that away, um, and they're drinking at least twice a day. Well, there is a milk carton council in the state of Wisconsin that helps schools set up to actually uh, recycle milk. We have to do it a certain way, otherwise it will get thrown away, whether it gets thrown away at our end or at the recycling place itself. I mean, yeah, maybe this stuff isn't happening right here, but everything we do contributes to all those other problems. And global warming has to do with our waste, and it has to do a lot with um, the energy consumption that we do. When I went to college, I studied global warming. That was a long time ago. And it was like, it's, it's gonna happen, and these are the things that are gonna happen, and everything that they predicted back 30-some years ago has come true. This is important. This is your future. This is your kids' future. There really is an environmental problem in our world right now. And all we can do is act locally. We can think globally, but we have to act locally. I can't influence the world, but I can try to influence around here.